Hey everyone, welcome to another Software Developer Profile Review. My name's David, I've been a software developer for over 20 years. I've also run international recruitment teams. I want to show you all the mistakes that developers make. Well, hopefully I'll show you some good profiles too, you know. Um, so I want to review profiles and be as harsh as possible whilst being respectful. But I want to show you what recruiters see and why they might be filtering you out. So I'm going to behave like a recruiter and try and tell you uh, what's going through my brain as I look through your profile and why I might skip it, move on, reject you, etc, etc. And if it's really good, I'll tell you it's really good. Um, if you would like a profile review, you can come to my website, crushing.digital, and just click the profile review button, fill in the form, and you'll join the queue, and I will review it as soon as possible. All of the content, you know, all the theory behind this, I have put together into multiple different learning formats. If you want to learn on your own, uh, there's a book and a video course uh, It comes with checklists and all those sorts of things. Lots of people saying nice things about that. And uh, if you want to have the full course, if you want me to teach you all the way through, there is a, a, a full course here. Uh, and details on the homepage as well. Um, this is this is more um, in, in conjunction with me. We, we meet weekly and we talk about all these things and I walk you through it. But if you can... If you want to pay less, etc., you can learn on your own privately. That's up to you. So this course usually goes out to lots of coding boot camps. I teach cohorts of students, but it's also open to the public if your boot camp doesn't offer this kind of service. So without further ado, let's go now and review a profile. So today we've got Ramel. I hope your name is Ramel. I've, I'm really terrible at pronunciation of names. I'm going with Ramel today. Um, so. Ramel described himself as a full-stack Node and React developer. So what I'm going to do is look at it just as a recruiter would. You've applied for a job. Here's what I see. So when I arrive at the profile, um, I see Laundry Lab and 2U Laundry. I don't know what that is. Maybe you've got a company of some variety. Um, so after trying to establish that, but I always say use this space to confirm to me what you do. So down here it says React. Now I'm sure you said full stack Node and React, in which case now I'm nervous and thinking, do you do Node at all? If if it just says React there, I might um, be on the back foot already. So uh, let's carry on and see where we get to. I'm a highly skilled full stack developer with extensive experience in developing software solutions that consistently meet and exceed customer expectations. This is one of those opening lines that just makes me think, mm, I don't believe you. It's not that I don't believe you in particular, I, just, I don't believe anybody. The, these things that people say in their headlines and their about sections to me are claims, claims that you can do certain things. I'm going to be then asking, okay, let's see if you prove that, let's see if you drive this home. So with a diverse skill set and encompassing various in various programming languages, frameworks such as React Native, Next.js, um, TypeScript, okay, Postgres, good stuff. I possess the expertise needed to tackle complex projects. Great. Uh, that's not, not so bad. I would have got rid of the, the opening statement. Um, and then I open this and think, whoa, I'm not reading that. That's a lot of text. I might read it later if we get down to the, the final numbers, but at the minute I'm just going to scan read through it. So I see Google Tab Manager, Analytics, I develop scrapers, microservices. So there's good value in here. We're just not, you know, highlighting it, dragging it to the top. As a passionate full stack developer, great. Uh, on site, blah, blah, blah. I hold a degree. Present informatic, that's cool. Equipped me with a solid foundation in computer science. Again, there's, there's tons of value in here. We're just making it difficult for anyone to find it. Um, dedicated student of stoicism. Awesome. Uh, and then this, I'm going to copy out because I like to hold on to these things for later. You never know if you're going to find them again. So um, I'm currently based in Lima, Peru. I welcome opportunities, blah, 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 blah. Cool. Activity. Nothing. This, now this tells me, okay, I've got no other... Um, you know, declaration or, or evidence of, of proactivity. So whatever I find here is going to be it. I have found a GitHub, uh, but I let's bear in mind I found GitHub down here. Would I have found GitHub by your contact information, which is where I'd normally look? No. So if I hadn't have scanned all the way through and got down to there to find it, 
I might never have found this. Okay, so that's a danger move right there. Okay, let's look at your experience. I have contributed to the success of developing high value software solutions that meet customer needs. Again, it's one of those phrases that I just think, meh, uh, it's, it's, is it true? I, mean, I assume it is, I hope it is. Uh, but it's one of those things I think you could get away with not saying it because it's, it's rare that people are going to say, I, I, I have contributed to the failure of developing low value software solutions that never meet customers' needs, right? So the, the statement in itself is, is almost irrelevant. It's, it, now it's down to proving it. So, okay, Postgres next, no, React, Cloud Fastall, great skills, looking good. Some of my contributions, adding the payment, integration with Stripe, it's Microsoft, this is great. Proving the bash script stuff, great. New features. So I like this, and this is your last three years. So this is strong, uh, uh, that's good. Going back on the previous experiences, what we're we doing here, Angular, those sorts of things, I had the privilege of building an advanced web page that achieved a significant impact on thousands of clients by saving money. Okay, how did you save money? It was a banking, foreign exchange solution. Some of my countries developing scrapers with microservices to track the dollar exchange rate. Um, again, this is not bad. Uh, and you know, now that you've got React and then the Angular prior to that, I always think that's a really strong thing. Um, so these these two are pretty good. I, I wouldn't complain about these. So full stack developer in Laravel. Some of my contributions, developing landing pages, and I think this this just feels a bit lackluster. Um, there's no point saying some of my contributions if you've got one contribution. So what did you say on the next one? Some of my contributions, developing modules. So we've got a bit lackluster from this point on. I no longer want to open all six experiences because it just seems to be a one-liner. I think you could do more with those, but there's a ton of experience. The fact that you've got the last four or five years covered here, I think you'd get away with it. But now I'd like to see what have you built? You know, what what does that what do those UIs look like? What have the challenges been, all those sorts of things. Okay, so we're on to finding more information. The only thing we've got to go on is your GitHub. So I'm a highly experienced full stack developer. Full stack developer here doesn't tell me full stack doing what. Um, so React Native, Next.js, TypeScript. Okay. This isn't bad. This is this is this is good. So popular repos. I haven't got anything pinned, so popular. I mean go. Spring MVC. Hmm. Uh, DigitalOcean how to set up a node application. Safe local host. PHP. So these don't help me. The contributions graph shows me you're doing something. I, I just, uh, it, but this lets you down. So this is where I think pinning your repositories, making it clear what you want to show me as your best examples of your work. So then I get into here and I've got TypeScript, a fork, but then we've got Rust, 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 Rust. So do you want to do this anymore? Or are, you, are you moving towards Rust? It makes me nervous. Um, you've got such a good background. I think you're going to be the type of developer that might get quite a bit of attention because of the years of experience. And therefore, you know, I get this a lot from senior developers where they say, I don't need to do a lot of these strategies. I don't need to work hard on my profile because I'm getting attention. I think you will be getting attention, but I think you could be getting far more. I think you could be getting great roles here because you've got a plethora of skills, you've got depth of experience, you've got depth on the JavaScript side of it, you know, coming through Angular, you know, which is going to scream TypeScript, then into React, React Native, you've got the back end as well. There could be so much more. You could be a very interesting candidate, but I think you, you're doing the classic senior developer lazy thing. This doesn't tell me you're full stack to start. And then you're just relying on this to save you. And I think uh, depending on how many applicants I had to a role, this might not be enough. Whereas I actually think you've got tons of things that you could either show or be talking about in your activity, on a blog. Um, there's multiple different ways you could showcase this. So 
I, I would say shows promise, but you'd be my, um, you know, if I was finding a, a list of candidates, I normally put forward a list of candidates and say, this is the order I would be interviewing them. This, this is the, their strength. And you might be at the bottom of that list just because I don't have enough evidence to back up your claims right now, but would be just relying on the fact that you've got a lot of experience. As always, I hope this has been helpful. I hope this is helpful to you and also to, to other people who, um, especially senior developers, because I've worked a lot with senior developers. And this is the classic thing that I see where there's a lot of experience, but you're not making enough of it. You're not showcasing all these skills. You're just hoping that someone sees three years here and another couple of years there and thinks, yeah, you're a given, you're straight into interview. I think this is the sort of profile that gets tons of attention but maybe not the attention it deserves, as in the volume and the quality of that attention. If you would like a profile review, please visit crushing.digital. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.